Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Iken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Unfair Plus difficulty. It is time to explore the rest of the si system. Master Helmsman River says, Lord Captain, there was an incident on the flight deck. The planet uh, we discovered is located at the coordinates of interest to the Honorable Ulfor, Angel of Emperor. The moment he learned about this, he chose to abandon ship. He ordered a shuttle to be provided to him and directed it uh, to the world without us. Uh, we do not know where exactly he wishes to go, but uh, the ogres have traced the shuttle to the landing site. I see. I apologize for having to bring you this troubling news, Lord Captain. Yeah. Your apology is well taken. Scouting party led by the rogue trader himself makes planfall on the frozen world. The shuttle on which Ulfar Thunderlung departed, uh, the ship has been uh, designated the starting point of the search. Scout out the area. Scouts discover numerous structures, burial grounds, and obelisks of the Xeno race that once ruled the star system, aka, um, yeah, I think we're uh, this time looking at Necrons again, all of which are now encased in the ice and the solemn sepulchral stillness. No signs of activity by potentially hostile Xenas have been uh, detected. The machine spirit is in a fine form in the shuttle and ready to ascend from the world's surface. No clues have been found as to Ulfar Thunderlung's intended destination, but the keen-eyed scout uh, sighs several uh, disturbing snowdrifts that may indicate that the route uh, uh, taken by the Space Wolf. Let's follow the trail. The group bravely ventures onwards into the realm of blinding white and crackling frost. The sky is soon blackened uh, with uh, snow clouds that block out the star's light. The wind um, howling like a pack of hungry spirits is swept away all tracks <coughs> and uh, whips up in a furious storm. The pass is full of dangerous a treacherous uh, crevasse hidden under the snow's crust suddenly opens white underneath then forces feeds. It is only to the vigilance of the Lord Captain and his companions who hear the telltale crack in time that this, uh, that saves the soldiers from certain death. A few hours later, the expedition comes to plateau. Rising up ahead um, is the dark hull of an imperial trading vessel that once landed on the world's surface. Let's investigate the ship. The ship is identified as the revelation granted. The merchant cock um, uh, commandeered by the baleful howl on footfall. No signs of struggle or other misfortune are found aboard. Only some cargo in the hold. Contrary to expectations, no crew members are found, dead or alive. The ship has been abandoned and its fuel system are not functional. The Prometheum has frozen solid and ruptured in the tanks and pipes. Send scouts to survey the area. The enforcers search the area and return without finding anything of interest. Not all of them return. In fact, several seem to have lost their way and failed to make it back to the ship. Look for signs of Wolfar. Fresh tracks in the snow leading to the ship's airlock indicate that he was here very recently. However, he was not alone. The scouts find strange dips in the snow, ship surra uh, snow surrounding the ship. It seems that someone was watching the ship from a position buried in the snow, same uh, time as Ulfur Thunderlung was searching in it. The raging blizzard makes it impossible to determine which way the space wolf might have gone. A pair of brave trekkers strike out a long distance scouting run still have not returned uh, hours later. Take shelter and send up, uh, set up camp. The bone weary soldier welcome the chance to rest. The watchful sentry stand guard uh, while the more fortunate comrades stuff themselves with the now frozen ration of the ship's vanished crew. The temperature in uh, exhortly plummets, but the brave and forces followed by the Lord Captain examples staunchly endure the trial to not lose uh, their heart. One of the sentry delivers an anxious report to the Lord Captain. He has seen a massive shadow in the darkness, and it was definitely not Ulfra Thunderlung. Double the sentries. Despite the reinforcements, the sentries cannot conceal uh, their fear. The unknown has robbed them of their courage. A messenger rushes to the captain's report that one of the sentries is missing. Large tracks have been found near the sentries. Um, 
um, post as well as a few drops of blood. Light a brighter fire. Barrels of frozen Promethium are dragged outside. The frozen fuel reluctantly succumbs to the heat of the thermal clutters and fires um, kindle around the ship. Even this is not enough to uh, dispel the snowy darkness, but the people uh, boiled up uh, the additional light and warmth. A terrible rumbling cuts uh, through the roar of the storm. The clash of clamor and battle is followed by a furious, agonizing scream. Send a party towards it and find out uh, what's happening. Tied together with ropes um, and bolstering each other with battle cries, the enforcers rush towards the battle in human chains. Unable to see anything ahead of the darkness and swirling snow, they blindly stride towards the source of the battle's monstrous thunder. Lord Captain charges forward, his soldiers rushing after him, and an eerie shadow blocks the path. Uh, it's cloaked uh, by snow and the dark, uh, which turns out to be a barely discernible silhouette uh, that emanates the promise of death. A bolt of lightning strikes the old Trevor before he, before he can act and avoid it. The Lord Captain collapses, insinuate in the snow, and the only intervention of the enforcers who rush fearlessly to defend their lord forces the malevolent foe to retreat. Ulfar has been found lying in the blood-soaked uh, snow. There are signs of a terrible battle all around, and Space Wolf's body is covered in grievous wounds. The expedition's healers doubt that an angel of uh, the Emperor will last along with such injuries. With great care, the insensate body of Ulfar Thunderlung is borne to the shuttles and, wasting no time, brought back to the ship for urgent treatment. Despite the healer's prognosis, the space wolf spirit clings on. He drags himself out of Mjorkai's claws. All right, I think it's time to discuss with Ulfar what just happened. That's an interesting story. I like it, but it did not give us much to work with. There are enemies in the dark and in the blizzard, and I'm not sure if I could have done anything better. But, yeah, we failed our test, so that unfortunately always makes those stories a little bit harder. Ulfar, what have you done? Are you normally here? Alright, gravely wounded Ulfar was transported back to the ship. Uh, despite uh, the Chirogian's expectations, he did not perish from the wounds. Alright, Voxmaster. Ulfar isn't here. That's a clever way of putting it. How's Ulfar? He's feeling better, Lord Captain. The ship Sherigorn, uh, Chirogorns uh, were amazed of his resilience. He seemed Lord Ulfar is currently confiscating in his chambers. No, 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 no. no. I want to see him now. Let's go. Ulfar. Oh, nice. Did you know that we had the Space Marine uh, Treatment Center? Ulfar's dark figure towers over you. His head is lowered, his hair hanging in the curtain across his face. Uh, his fair skin is cross-hatched with broad crimson scars held together by metal staples and covered with black spiked runes for physical healing. Could an ordinary mortal have survived such injuries? Unlikely. With a twitch of his fingers, Ulfar binds uh, the two servants in attendance to step away uh, so as not to intrude your conversation. They silently retreat. Wait, father, I must thank you for tha saving me. It had been a difficult battle. I am glad you survived, Ulfar. I always survive. Uh, why did you go alone? So I did not have to bury all of your bodies in the snow, Aid father. It is not our, uh, out of arrogance that the wolves do not allow mortals to, in, uh, to join into our affairs, but because of the burden that it, the deeds are so, hev uh, so heavy and they reek of death. Yeah, I just uh, considered what kind of uh, tree you could have been f a threat you could have been facing. In the place where the entire pack of the Astatis has disappeared, 
If I had risked uh, you for the sake of fulfilling my vows, would that have been worthy of me? I appreciate your concern. Uh, what will you do now? I must return. My foes await me, and I would be dishonorable to retreat from battle. But I will need help in this fighting. Well, you can count on me. I know, Elf Father. Olfer nods to the servants, and uh, in a low voice, they begin to collaterally pray. Shadows leap across the walls, twisting together in a majestic and savage dance. In the flickering candlelight, the skewed ritual is performed, the angel of the emperor clothed in armor of unweaving face of his wrath. All right, well, Olfar, in which case, I would uh, say it's time to... Uh, to go. Uh, a reconnaissance mission is in order, and I will gladly do that. Okay, very, very good. So, let's uh, do a landing party. And this time, a proper landing party, not party number two. But it is time to bring back party number one. The prime team is on their way. Let's go, boys. All right, we landed Sue. Uh... Powers unseen uncover my mind. It's an interesting area here. It's also interesting how Ulfar uh, takes the front line. There we go, much better. Was that supposed to be a challenge? A nice melter weapon. One-handed, massive armor penetration. We're going to check, maybe that's an upgrade for J. Scouts has covered Ulfur's lifeless body here. Is my I better myself through my service. I tread a path unexplored. Those runes are very well made. I'm liking every bit of it. So something. Well, now I ran into a trap. Friendship with the runes is abruptly over. I don't like them anymore. Never doubt me. The Emperor favors me today. Oh no, the space wolves. Let's seize the opportunity. Oh no. I was hoping we find his brothers. My brothers! Uh, red uh, brows furrowed in anguish. Ulfur bows down on the bodies encased in the ceramide of Adamantine. Once again, fate has burnt me from traveling to the hordes of the All Fathers with my brothers. The snow covered battlefield reveals little. But it is clear that the wolves gave furious battle one last time. The rocks are pitted uh, from the boulder strikes uh, here and there, and you see scorched marks left by plasma charges. Who were they fighting? I smell no corruption on their bodies. I see no traces of these Zeno's weapons. Think, they battled with humans here. What do you think uh, they were looking for? I do not know what they were seeking. But I certainly found something here, otherwise the crime world would not have been committed. I am very sorry they died. Do not be sorry, Alt Brother. They died with honor, as the Alfather's warriors shot. In the halt of Kjajeller, uh, their home will be fueled uh, with brim and heavy, uh, and heavy miod. I sense evil in their deaths. The souls of the battlefield howl are not addressed, but remain here on the battlefield. They are not with the old father. I must escort them. Will you bear witness to the last honor? 
All right, we shall do that. Here now the saga of the Baleful Howl pegs proud warriors of Fenris, Vjolkar Fenrika. The verse weave together, the recounting the deeds of each of Ulfur's dead brothers. With incredible precision in every detail, the wolf lists accomplishments of his comrades, the enemies they slew, the sacrifices they made. The saga continues at length, and the relentless rhythm sends you into a trance with a grinning screech. Um, the rock drawn across the knife's blade again and again, inscribing the name after another. On the cold world they gave the battle, the pegs fears name never disgraced, so ends the saga of the baleful howl, and the void thunders with echoes unending, Fjernre's shoulder. Ulfar uh, is silent for a long time, the edged knife blade slices across uh, his huge palm, and Scarlet uh, drops paint in the snow. His weapon voice rasps, Hear me, o uh, hear me oath, old father, Yelga through your egg jurme. With blood in his hand, the wolf removes a rune-covered horn from his belt, and from a plask uh, pours something dark and sharp-smelling into it. Let us drink, my brothers, a the better, and there, um, then we will build the pyre. Of course, it's a drinking competition. The astringent liquid burns down your throat and the fog immediately descends over your vision. The sky darkens and the rising wind uh, whistles in your ears. Through it comes at a high-pitched crawing of a bird. Ulfur nods approvingly. Hey, it's a sign! Fate works beside us, Skull. Taking back his horn, the wolf takes a mighty swallow. The majestic shadows arise and the shadowy haze around you. The figures of the warriors clad in indestructible armor bearing emblem of two black fangs piercing the yellow sun. They are looking at you. The brothers bear witness, which means it's time for us to meet our last comrade. There is one missing amongst the dead, and now I know who I was fighting before. It was Brother Ignalf. What happened to him? He went mad with the grief over the bodies of his brother, and the curse of the wolven prevailed over his valiant heart. He became a beast. Is he so dangerous? There is no reasoning with uh, one who knows only the black bitterness of hatred. The curse of the wolven is, um, yeah, not only to blame our bane, but also our shield against the temptation. When intolerant thoughts take shelter into a wolf's mind, the curse comes and uh, drives them out, dousing them with the ways of anger. You cannot reason with the wolven, or deceive them, or entrance them. Let's our bloody talisman against the evil. Oh, I see. The wolf um, moan raises its uh, head and holds, then turns a wise piercing gaze around you, and the blood rains down from his snow white fangs into a frozen wall. Let's do it. Or for lets out a belligerent howl, whipping up snow drifts into a whirlwind. You hear a uh, terrible cracking sound, someone's feet, no paws are breaking through the crust of the snow on the ground. The beast now comes, and the crew will howl awake against the fallen warrior of Fenris. Nice. It would be so cool uh, to have uh, more uh, Space Marines, but if you want to play Space Marines, Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate is the right thing for you. You get plenty of them there. Uh, okay, well, these guys are pretty strong. How about we're putting you guys here and uh, good old Ulfar here and a little bit of this and definitely a little bit of uh, that. And Argenta goes here, and Pasco, my good Pasco, goes here. Let's start the battle. Uh, Ulfar, it's your big uh, day, uh, so you'll get the honor. Of massacring every single one of them. And that 
that seems to be a good start. I do have a lot of armor, so... That's a good first hit. Switching bolters for single uh, damage shots. Switching bolters again for multi fire. Okay, we're melting through his armor slowly but surely. Great hit. Um, once we're on it, effort. We're going to take more hits. are so low Why do we have gladiators, healing kits? I did not even give him those. Okay, whatever. We're handing over more actions. Uh, this time to Heinrichs. Heinrichs buffs himself. Charges in, unfortunately fails to hit. 7%, well that's really low. Well, he stays there. Saiken stays where he's at at the moment. Argenta gets a slight buff. Buff in the back line. More buffs and Cassia. Bit of fake buffs herself. Point of curiosity does absolutely nothing. We're going to force this guy to lose 150 hit points. That's good. Um, place that over there. Hit the ghost wolf. And hit him again. Psychic neatly kills the first one. Psychically assaults the second one. Fantastic. And we can continue. Oh, 
I should not have cast that. Uh, we had another cast in us. Oh, come on. Would have just killed uh, this guy. Oh yeah, we can. Okay, let's go. Everybody shoots at him. Fantastic. Oh, we're going into battle round number two. Not sure if that worked out as intended, because it sure seems like we should have had these... battles um, all together but yeah maybe it is due to us uh, just killing them so swiftly there we go oh, this guy parries unfortunate we're taunting screaming And it's still just a 10% chance, unless I smite him, but that is neglectable damage at this point. Well, Heinrich is a tank, so what am I about to say? It is what it is. Ulfer is the one who should uh, deal with these guys. Let's go. Fantastic. Switch bolter. Good hit. Switch bolter again. Switch Bolter. And switch Bolter again. Keep on going. There we go. Revel and Slaughter. Olfer has uh, truly and certainly become the leader of this pack. I like it. I think I should give him the talisman that always hits when he strikes. <sighs> Can I change equipment? No, we cannot, but... Yeah, just hitting these shots, all of them, will be so helpful for our routine. All right, second so moves up. Cassia moves up, and we're looking at like what? A um, couple of extra hit points uh, reduced. Uh, a bit of that. This. And whilst we're at it, some of that. There we go, and a bit more damage.
Fantastic hit. And whilst we're at it, let's just continue. My verses, you will hear glorious brothers of uh, how the path of Ulfar called Thunderlung. Uh, from the first and last of the wolves of the Bayfall, Bayfall Hall was intertwined over his brother's cold body, standing Ulfar, the hard and armored proclaim. Uh, to the skies of the glorious saga and the last horn mud, uh, homage paid to those warriors proud as he witnessed taking his companions out of the line of Valencius the blizzard was raging and the wind uh, furiously howling under the terrible clawing par his retinue to aid the rogue trader called by the cry was drowned out of by the harsh elements of roaring magic with snow whirling in a dance intertwining uh, for the beast left a bloody reaping of only two all fathers called to summoned uh, uh, summoned two you did not fear uh, to meet me uh, perfidious spirit who the name Double Grendel claims. I see you have not learned from the last battle. Thought you paid for it with your gorged eye, so spoke Ulfur Thunderlung, and the beast replied, of your spoils and boasted to the priests of uh, Vain Ulfur, ever lost my body alone, would uh, alone you wounded, but I, your spirit, maimed, and you were crippled. Then came the turn uh, of the aid Vatter to speak. And his uh, words were formidable and filled with wrath, the grin and merry joy of bloody, uh, and the grin and merry and full of bloody joy. For your insolence, you will pay with tears and blood, so answered the dread spirit, the harsh oath served by the hurricane itself as witness incorruptible uh, we're using toughness and failed the beast was not yet vanquished rowing his body uh, he threw into the fray like a mighty spear thrust holding his claws into the adamantine the warrior fought a river of blood spilling all for Stanlong in the battle uh, song singing the black curses a vicious rival echoing the warriors were clashing when the al uh, when the cunning Edvather um, step back and allying gave others a strike all for had uh, held no fear that his strike broadly sweeping his allies would catch a glancing blow he fought mercilessly heavy swings subscribed to the scarlet runes Upon the Alfathers fell the wolf's fiery graze. Um, or grinning him down. The knife of the moonlight uh, gleamed across the wolf's uh, face, cutting in a blink. The dark gloom um, redacted. The spell dissipated. Glory to the brave hearts that fear no death. In its death rasp, the double Grendel answered, Brother, we were doomed, uh, not by the arc image followers, not by depicable inhumans who did not touch our armor nor uh, with dark sorcery. No, it was the humans who oath uh, of friendship swore that blanched us uh, blade into the back, the treacherous plot of uh, malice hatched. The pair stood together over the prostate body, the body nor a beast, uh, not uh, of a beast, but of a fallen brother. The fearsome Ulfar declared an oath of vengeance, um, and the mighty wolves of Kjala, uh, Kjalhalla uh, went charging. They went knowing um, that from the betrayers three times the blood prize would be ex uh, extracted. And the eighth brother also up uh, his peace spoke. The traitor's name now remains unknown, but the darkness I will find him and I will have my vengeance. Now the last of the pact remains, Ulvar the Avenger. Uh, we're getting nice little power armor, I like it, and Emperor's Justice. Allies out to dodge the wearer's burst attacks, ooh nice. 
Fantastic. So ends his trail. Glory to the fierce wolves of Fenris. I love it. I love it. Such a good tale. Such a good tale. Fabulous. That is really, really good uh, loot that we've gotten. Oh boy. I stand corrected with my initial assessment that there should be better loot uh, for the uh, quests. No, 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 no. Quests are absolutely fantastic. They are good. They work. Let's uh, talk to Marazai because I think we haven't finished his quest. Good, Marazai. Finally dealt with your last enemy. What's next Kabal for you? as good as dead. And everyone who wanted me dead has perished along with it. Now that I'm no longer being hunted by assassins, I'm free to choose my next steps. It is a strange feeling. I will grapple with that later, but for now, new blood and fresh suffering awaits us. I would hate to miss all the fun. The Dark City is the bastion of the Drukhari, the most magnificent of all our strongholds. The Cabals... Why did we fail the know? meeting place? We did, uh, we did meet at the meeting place. Then go. Uh, that is strange, because we have been at the meeting place and it uh, now says uh, we have failed... Uh, uh, at the meeting place. Ah, that is annoying. Let's take our anger out on a couple of unknown ships. That will lighten up the spirits a little bit. That will lighten up the spirits just a little bit. As for the Prime team, I think they are uh, very, very, very strong at this point. Even uh, the Strong enemies can't really stand can against them. The so, not 100% sure if I will fight all of the battles. I think I'll continue to switch around because the secondary team, in my perspective, is a little bit more uh, fun. Charter course. Torpedoes! Now! Alright, hit that light cruiser. The reason why it is more fun, by the way, is, I mean, you know me, right? Uh, it's not about building OP uh, characters. It's fine to do that from time to time. But we also want uh, to have a bit of a challenge. Let the Empyrean guide us. Good. We killed that cruiser, by the way, so it was his revival protocol. No need to get too upset about that. We're jumping, back shields and gone. Let's kill this one here. Nope. Uh, revived right back into it. Unleash your wrath upon my enemies. Couple of good shots. I like that. Emblaze on our path. Good. There we go. That's one down. Frontal shields. Uh, ready, steady, go. Unleash the storm of microcannons. 
Nice. Couple of good hits. only have one side left so how about we're just flying to here and we're expecting these guys to go down in a second explode the torpedo done Unleash a wrath upon my enemies Hit, hit, and kill. We unfortunately took some damage with the explosion, but I couldn't position any anywhere else uh, for it to, uh, to work. Bit of hull repair, and I think we're good, right? Got the ramming up to level 9. Oh, we haven't been ramming anyone lately. But this could be a tomb world. The puzzled auger operator reports an expeditionary shuttle belonging to the Van Valencia's dynasty was detected on the planet's surface. Furthermore, according to the marking, it was assigned to your vessel. The operator states that the entrance of the system's tunnels was spotted next to the, uh, to the shuttle. Request a full report. In the registry of the expedition shuttle number 712, it has been uh, designated as uh, irretrievably lost for many years. Information about the circumstances of the disappearance are suspiciously sparse, as if someone deliberately erased them. From the crumbs of information that remain, you gather that it was sent to explore some object of an unknown world uh, in order for the Lord Captain Theodora and never returned. Explore the tunnels. After disembarking, you notice that the shuttle is buried halfway into the sand and that the Van Valencia's coat of arms practically is erased from the side. The shuttle has clearly been here for a long time. Next to the shuttle, you find uh, crates of the archaeological equipment on uh, which uh, one can uh, just barely make out the emblem of the explorators. Uh, most of the crates are lying uh, next to a mass of black doors of Xena's origin, the entrance to the tunnels. Uh, the descent into the depths uh, takes several hours. Uh, you make your way through the cramped corridors, giving away uh, to huge black halls with a dim emerald glow from the non-discernible source. Bright forth silhouettes of equipment abandoned by the tech priest. Uh, the suffocating oppressive silence uh, that accompanies you during the descent is broken only by the echoes of your footsteps uh, deafening and yet so insignificant against the background of the Cyclopia den um, aches. All right, uh, whom are we going to take into that battle? I said we wanted to switch it up from time to time. So let's take a team number two. If it is Necrons again, uh, they already know what's up. So there we go. But that is going to happen the next time. Um, I am very much looking forward for another nice little Necron crypt. Um, for now, I need to say thank you and goodbye. Uh, for this episode, I hope you liked Ulfar's uh, storyline. As always, take care, and if you're a true believer in the Space Wolves, then by the Allfather, press that like button. Thanks a lot, have a good one.